Ciao and welcome back to my kitchen. You're watching Marco Bites. This is Marco and I'm 100% made in Italy. However, you don't have to be from Italy or living in Italy to enjoy some really good Italian food. Today I'm gonna make one of my favorite pasta dishes, spaghetti alla carbonara. This is an extremely simple recipe, however it is extremely controversial. A lot of people from around the world, but also within Italy, make spaghetti alla carbonara in very different ways and there are so many debates about the right ingredients to put in it. So let's ask Google. Hey Google, what are the ingredients of carbonara? Ingredients. One tablespoon olive oil. Olive oil, two garlic. Garlic, three eggs. Egg, 50 grams grana padano or parmesan. 200 grams smoked pancetta and 75 milliliters double cream. <gasps> No, no, don't listen to Google. Like, Google doesn't know how to cook. There is definitely no olive oil. There is definitely no garlic. Um, we are Italians, but we don't put garlic everywhere, thank you. Definitely no double cream or any type of cream at all. Follow this recipe for some more authentic Italian carbonara. So these are the actual ingredients to make carbonara. Of course, we need to start with Spaghetti! Yeah, so spaghetti. Secondly, we need pancetta, of course. Now, the original recipe actually includes a guanciale instead of pancetta, but it's really hard to find that in the UK or abroad, so pancetta will do. Just do not use bacon because that's not exactly the same thing. Now, of course, the main ingredient of the sauce is eggs. <laughs> So we need at least one egg per person, plus one. So I'm cooking for two tonight, so myself and Alan, which means two eggs plus one, three eggs. Now we need cheese, and specifically Pecorino Romano, which is really hard to find in North America. So if you don't find Pecorino Romano, you can use Parmesan cheese, which is much easier to find. And finally, we need some pepper. <laughs> Okay, ready to start. So we want to begin our carbonara by roasting a little bit of pancetta in a pan. We don't need to add any extra oil or anything because the fat of the pancetta will actually help. We want to leave it for approximately 10 minutes, a very low temperature, so that the pancetta can cook throughout without getting burned and without getting black. Just make sure that it gets golden and crispy. Then we can turn this off and move to the actual sauce. Again, we use one egg per person plus one. I'm putting them all in the bowl and I'm starting to mix. So once the eggs are ready, we can add the cheese. Um, about half pecorino, half parmesan, also adding a little bit of pepper. Keep on mixing until you reach the right consistency. You can leave this aside and start boiling the water. We can also use some of the boiling water to make our sauce a little bit more creamy. We normally don't put cream in carbonara sauce. So once the water is boiling, let's make sure to add a fist or two of salt to the boiling water and then we can put the pasta in. Check the instructions on the pasta box uh, to make sure that you cook this al dente. For my spaghetti, the check code is 10 minutes. You can taste the spaghetti to make sure they are actually cooked al dente and then drain the water and put the spaghetti back into the pot. I then pour into the pot the cream and also the pancetta and mix it thoroughly. There you go, now our spaghetti alla carbonara are ready to be served. And those were spaghetti alla carbonara. Let me know in the comments below if you tried this recipe at home and how it tasted. Make sure you subscribe to receive all the future updates and new videos from my channel. And remember that if I can cook Italian, you can cook it too. Ciao e buon appetito! See you next time!